Hi, Somindra. Welcome back for another round of your interview. How excited are you for this interview? Very, very. Great. Extremely. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. So, yes, my first question right away. The Dhatwa Foundation is your brainchild and an organization that celebrates rich Indian classical music. Tell us what inspired you to build it and what is your mission to keep going forward? So, uh, it's not actually my brainchild. Uh, my okay. mom has been teaching uh, Indian classical music to various students of age groups since the last 25 years or so here in mm. uh, CR. But uh, the idea of, you know, registering it as a foundation and uh, promoting concerts and, uh, you know, promoting students to have the stage. Yes. Getting the funds for it, it always seemed very complicated to my very simple parents. Mm -hmm. So that's I never went for it. But now, since I have, you know, uh, collaborated with so many musicians, I know mm. how to talk to musicians and how to uh, approach people for funds and everything. So I thought that why not utilize this these skills and you know like. Uh, just uh, make a platform for young musicians and especially students who who have a lot of potential in them and uh, you know just give them a platform to perform and express themselves absolutely so, so that is the end goal is at this point and uh, of course we are continuing with the classes we are teaching the students i teach mm -hmm. sitar my mom teaching, uh, vocal uh, we there's also a tabla teacher so uh, we are educating the students and from from that lot of students we select some few cream ones who you know show a lot of potential who show dedication and hard work in the art and we give them platform to perform yeah awesome that's awesome so one small follow-up question is so how many events have you done so far in the last one year of you know thinking about this project we have already run two concerts fantastic have you been able to raise funds and from those funds pay the artists who are performing students uh, not we haven't been able to raise funds yet mm -hmm. but we are in the process of you know uh, we are conversing with various uh, companies mm -hmm. who are interested you know working with us in the very near future mm -hmm. and uh, Hopefully, we'll be doing bigger platform shows very soon. Awesome. Wish you all the best for that. Yeah, I would like to stay tuned and uh, we'll see even how we could also contribute. Perfect. Thank Next you. question is, I see you are marking new territories exploring music as a sitar performer with Akanksha Grover, who is shedding the typical notions of how the industry perceives a musician. As Indian listeners are inclined towards Bollywood, Western, and even Korean music now, Akanksha is a rarity who is putting the, her musical skills and knowledge to bring the old world charm of Indian classical music batters back. Tell us your experience of collaborating with her. Uh, you know, it's always uh, extremely fun and, you know, a very musically enriching experience performing with Akan Sharidi. But she, she has been a very, you know, she's a very old friend of mine. We know each other from college time. She was a senior. And uh, at that time, I used to accompany her on the tabla. Okay. And later on, uh, you know, uh, in I think in 2021, end of 2021, uh she called me up and she's like that uh, now i have started these bethaks where i i sing ghazals and uh, nazms and i would be extremely happy if you could come and you know accompany me on the sitar so that's how it all started and it's always it's always very fun and it's always musically very enriching Awesome. I want to know, so when, whenever you perform with her, since you are also like performing on sitar and it's not just an accompaniment, but you will also have to, uh, like I said, you have to explore the muse, I mean, sitar music and blend it with her vocal singing. Uh, do you practice in advance or is that a process on stage that happens now that, yeah, could you please uh, share some details? 
So I'll give you a very uh, small insight about that. Hmm. So initially, the you know the first few performances that we did were absolutely you know just right on the stage. Wow! I just asked what kind, what guzzles are you singing? You know, she <laughs> shared me a rough set list, and and the set list is never set in our hmm. sets okay. <laughs> because because uh, usually it's uh, you know two hour or three hour long uh, batter and people come up with any uncommon guzzle and you know requests yeah requests and, all, and we have to perform that i mean and akansha the she's she's you know very versatile in that she has listened to so many guzzles she sings and she mm. can sing you know so rare guzzles that we haven't even heard there there okay. have been times when when i i just have to listen to the scale and play right over there because mm. i haven't heard that you know before so I mean, there are these challenges, but uh, and another challenge is, of course, the scale in which she sings, because she's a female vocalist. Right. Sitar you know, is, is tuned to D. Tuned to high, high pitch, yeah. yeah. So, uh, I mean, it's a very learning experience, and uh, you know, it's always uh, I always learn with her on the stage, and she's you know always amazing. Yeah, perfect. You feature very, I mean, prominently on her website. I saw that's amazing, and she is not only in her Delhi. She is also, uh, I mean, extensively performing in all parts of Delhi and CR. I keep uh, seeing her performances. Yeah, awesome, she, and she, I wish, I wish you continue to do that. more. Yeah. Yeah, and she always, you know, promotes me uh, on and off stage. Always. Right. Right. That's that's amazing. I mean, to find one such collaborator with whom you vibe so well, both as far as uh, quality of music is concerned, and also professionally, and the number of concerts you get to do with them on a regular basis, I think that's a great opportunity. Okay, okay. Um, tell us about your recordings. I see that you you put up some of the glimpses of your recordings recently, or anything that is coming up soon. Um, you know, I've been doing uh, collaborations only with with mm -hmm. dancers, with uh, wow, with fusion bands, with different kind of projects. Because uh, I mean, classical music will always be my forte. I can never deviate from that. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think in this modern age, where you know, uh, you know, you have to make a living. If you have to make a living out of music, mm -hmm. and uh, you know you have to explore new territories mm -hmm. and to so you know i've been exploring uh, different kind of music uh, i have doing i have been doing fusion projects i have been doing uh, i have been playing with you know guzzle singers bollywood singers and uh, mm -hmm. i have been commercial shows everything and uh, yeah i put, put some of that you know mm -hmm. on my social media and all uh, so it's, it's, you know, it's a learning process. That's it. Right. So, uh, are you also open to, you know, are there certain, uh, musicians and dancers that you dream to perform with, or you want to, or any such thing is there in your, uh, like, uh, wish list? I, I listen to Niladri Das, you know, pieces in so many of the Bollywood songs mm. and, uh, the way he, you know, uh, the way he has taken up uh, sitar to that kind of a commercial level yeah i think uh, you know if i can only you know play one song like that that would be like a dream coming true for me absolutely and i i'm sure you will do that uh, sooner or later and it's not i will just like add it something to your what you said that in today's age I think uh, the greatest of great musicians in India have always, I mean, experimented with different kinds of music from Satyajit yeah. Ray to A.R. Yeah. Rahman. They did not stick to one instrument or uh, one genre of music. They explored themselves Absolutely. as musicians and the great filmmakers, music directors. So, yeah, I think yeah, that's why I am very excited to get to know your uh, music and how even beautifully you are uh, expanding you know. your own dimension of work. Yeah, tell yeah definitely. Shivji and Hariji also, you know, they yes. used to give music in, in all kinds of Bollywood songs early in, in the days. Yeah. So, really, you know, if you want to grow in music, you have to explore 
different territories and different genres that is absolutely especially when you are talented and skilled that is my personal opinion i mean somebody may learn a lot of classical music this is absolutely my opinion i repeat but as i have seen you uh, evolving from your college times i have seen your sitar performances you are extremely talented and you are able to imbibe various styles i don't think every uh, student of music can do that so yeah i wish you all the best keep doing that i love your music uh, okay fine <laughs> uh so now so, the last so. <laughs> part of of this interview is i see you performing yeah solo recitals as i was saying at prestigious platforms as well like solo uh, hindustani classical sitar recitals as a young performing artist you are still in your 20s having to manage so many responsibilities as a sitar performer teacher as a collaborator as a founder i mean uh, co-founding and managing the operations of uh, siddhatwa foundation organizing events does it get overwhelming sometimes how do you manage so much of work oh don't you know get me started on that <laughs> <laughs> yes. it really does get overwhelming at times and uh, you know uh, there there are days when i am you know free and i just sleep through the whole day like mm-hmm. I, i sleep for like 15 hours that day you know completely mm-hmm. so yeah i mean uh, it's it's to. it's mm-hmm. very you know exhilarating and it's it's very tiring sometimes mm-hmm. but i mean it's it's not a boring thing it's it's a very yeah. exciting it's it's a very exciting profession and yeah. you know you get to so many new people you, you have so many new experiences you know every time mm-hmm. you perform on stage something new happens and you know mm-hmm. that's what you know keeps you going as a musician i think very so, well said. yeah yes yes because this whole i mean profession is this whole work this domain of work is so exciting even though it is challenging and it requires you to manage your health well every little piece I of work is enjoyable so many things that you know like uh, i'm going to school you know to teach in the morning mm. then from school directly i am going to a venue where the concert is happening mm. and probably it's a late night concert and we are finishing at you know 12 or 1 at night mm-hmm. and then coming back home mm-hmm. by you know 2 or 3 in the morning and again going back to school the next day <laughs> in, you know it's in the morning so yeah. you know some some weeks are really tough mm-hmm. but uh, again as i said you know it's it's a very uh, learning and a giving process you 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 know you take a lot with you True. with the experience and True. you have so many stories to tell you know so <laughs> you many stories to friend. tell yeah i mean yeah. because you're experiencing so much new that whenever you sit with your friends or family you know you have so much to talk about absolutely and one thing i, I am aware of is the traffic problem from delhi to noida i was experienced oh. whenever i call you most of the time you are either driving what i like very uniquely about you as a person is uh even amidst managing all of this you never lose your temper you have a very positive and very grateful attitude towards everything that you do it's not that you put in a lot of uh innocence and happiness in every little project or your aspect of your life and i i learned from that frankly speaking yeah keep going somidra you will you are a rising star of sitar in india as i keep saying you will do great you will be an inspiration to a, the larger community i'm sure okay you know now... you <laughs> always a big support you you shower me with all the support always <laughs> and i'm really thankful for that no no i i don't say this to every artist <laughs> that that's something <laughs> my honesty as well i say this with a lot of con- conviction this interview will be seen uh, by a larger audience so yeah and people know the comments that i uh, post on social media so it's it's specifically for you only <laughs> okay so now as a branding platform at aika we are working hard to ensure that all that you do gets the much needed visibility outside social media and it reaches the national and international audience which is why we are improving our website analytics for now as we speak and when our app is launched we also offer an avenue of financial earning for siddhatwa foundation and other ngos as well and for your personal brand as a sitarist so to say we have discussed this uh, previously i will also share it more so 
So now also thank you for your time, Somendra Goswami. Interviews like these ensure that we are empowered also to highlight your contribution in the larger community. And do you think a professional platform like ICA is needed in India? It is very much needed because you know uh, there are uh, entities out there who who want to take advantage of young musicians like us, mm -hmm. and uh, it's not very uncommon. It's a very common thing, and it's a I mean it's a very sad state of business. But yeah, there are entities out there who you know who just want to take advantage of your position because. You are a new musician coming out to the market mm. and uh, they know that you know you'll you'll probably perform at a prestigious event for less money or anything like that you know financially mm. also you should never and mm. I, I think uh you know getting uh acquainted with platforms like ICA, you know young musicians can you know uh be safe from all that that is happening out there absolutely in the market yeah because you you are not you know approaching to people on your own you are approaching to people you know through a platform which is well recognized in the society and and that really helps so definitely so, platforms like that are you know very important in in these times and i'm really thankful that you know you have taken up and you you know i mean sometimes i feel that you are so courageous to take up this and you know manage so many artists <laughs> It's it's really fantastic. I am True. I am quite you know I am so overwhelmed just you know managing one foundation mm -hmm. and you are like managing so many foundations. So <laughs> yes, that we are doing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you that. so much for the encouraging words. And yes, I want to uh, uh, I mean uh, emphasize upon what you said about uh, prices and these things. I ask every artist, what is your price for a performance on a stage? Because we are also talking to event managers and they want to discover new artists who are doing well. So yeah, we uh, I will not say I'm managing artists or NGOs. We are managing the brands. We are nurturing the brands of artists. We are taking them uh, nationally and internationally. Even now, there are some artists in Bengal who are very well known in Bengal. But when I'm talking yeah. to artists in Pune, they have no idea who this name is. So that is what we, our job is, so that people all over India and international should, should get to know you, not just stick to local. And we are managing the brands. We have just taken us, I mean, small step right now. And I hope everything goes well. Thank you so much, Somendra, for your time. I wish you all the best. Thank you so much.